बिस्मिल्लाम वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल थिंक बिग लर्न स्मार्ट फॉर मोर ऑफ दीज काइंड ऑफ वीडियोज प्लीज लाइक कॉमेंट शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल सो विदाउट फर्दर अडू लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर टूडेज डिस्कशन टूडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट इंटरनेशनल मॉनिटरी फंड मोस्ट फेमसली नोन एज आई एम एफ वी विल डिस्कस दिस टॉपिक इन इट्स कंप्लीट इंटायरिटी so what we will be discussing is we will discuss its history what are the reasons for creation of imf its working principle what are the objectives of imf what are the functions of imf and what is the membership criteria for imf what are the few criticisms on imf and what are the reforms to rectify those criticisms so let's move on first of all we are going to start with the history of imf so it formed after bretton woods agreement that happened in 1944 of the world war 2 allied nations it happened after world war 2 when the winner allied nations met in a meeting and agreed on the new global monetary system for the cooperation in global economy it came into existence in december 1945 it started its operations in 1945 45 representatives of the country agreed on framework of international economic corporation uh, cooperation so that was the building of imf and it established a new global monetary system replaced old gold standard with the us dollar as global currency america became the global power dominant power after that when the system was created so now the question arises why imf was formed what were the reasons behind forming imf So the Great Depression of 1930s had an enormous impact on the in advanced industrialized states. Unemployment skyrocketed. Europe agriculture prices fell. Banks were closed. They declared bankruptcy. Factories stood idle. International trade collapsed in that depressive era. So the onset of depression was the main reason. That's why German people were willing to follow the Hitler. So you. can understand from that point how great depression and all these different factors led to the world war 2 so the world thought about that and the world leaders met at the Bret- uh, bretton wood and they agreed on a framework so that the world economy can be stabilized and this kind of event should not happen in the future again so that's why that was the reason behind forming imf so the outbreak of war in europe proved to be a key factor for the us economic recovery so what happened that uh, when the great depression came and uh, there was hyperinflation in every industrialized nation so the world war 2 break out in europe and it proved to be a great factor for the us economic recovery so us was exporting all these goods that were needed for the war in europe and it recovered in that process and another reason for the imf forming was to stabilize currency exchange rates that fell in the great depression and after the world war 2 and to expand international liquidity access to hard currencies so in the bretton wood agreement gold standard was replaced with the us dollar because at that time us ha- had 3/4 of the gold supply in the whole world so they wanted to recover and to grow again that's why that's why it was replaced with the gold standard so that was the reason behind imf formation so how imf works well when a balance of payment problem comes in any country or any state loan is given out and defined 
installments and conditions are defined in that process then negotiations and agreement happens between the state and the imf staff or imf representatives country has to agree with the conditions to improve the monetary stability then the surveillance part comes in imf surveils the country's monetary policies uh, what it is doing to achieve that stability if the country is following their policies or not then the repayment parts come in loan earns some profit and then brings the economic stability then the imf gets it re its repayment back and the country has recovered so that's the process of imf working so what are the objectives of imf so few of the objectives of imf are to promote international monetary organization or the cooperation between all the states to help a single state from getting destabilized and help them in the process of recovery promote exchange stability and avoid competitive exchange rate depreciation so well that function was removed after 1971 when the bretton wood system collapsed and at at that time till 1945 to 1971 it was maintaining the exchange rate stability offer resources to the countries having maladjustments in their balance of payments and in the previous slide we discussed how that balance of pro uh, payment problem is resolved through a process eliminate foreign exchange restrictions so whenever the imf gives loan to any country there are some policies and conditions attached with that and it and these are related to the elimination of foreign exchange restrictions so what are the functions of imf well few of the functions i have listed here it is to oversee the fixed exchange arrangement be between the countries and that was removed after 1971 second is of surveillance of the global economy what is happening in the global economy uh, they also conduct research and analysis on what is happening in the global economy how it is moving upward or what is the progress in the previous years how each state member state is doing in its economy that's the function of imf with financial aid also requires governments seeking assistance assistance to correct its macroeconomic imbalances in the form of policy reforms that's also the function of imf that i talked about earlier so what is the membership criteria for imf currently there are 189 member states in the imf and to become a member country a country has to apply for the membership and then accepted by the majority of the already member states so that's the criteria for membership and then after selection each member is assigned a quota for imf according to the relative size in the economy world economy they pay the membership fees of imf after being selected as a member and it depends on the relative size of the country's economy in the world so what are the few of the criticisms on imf well one of the criticism is the saps of imf exacerbate crisis rather than alleviate them so what are saps saps are structural adjustment programs and it says that these structural adjustment adjustment programs are related just for their repayment of the loan rather than for the country's betterment or their economic stability for a long time second criticism is one size fits all it says that imf policies are just a particular policies for every country and they are applying those policies to the all states regardless of the situation and the dynamics of that particular country it takes away the political autonomy whenever a country is accepting the conditions and policies of imf it has to be bound according to that and it takes their political 
autonomy to decide on their own devaluations whenever uh, it is in the policies of imf that whenever they give loan they there is a policy that they have to devalue their currency for, for as to ex- increase their exports and to m- create a macroeconomic stability and that's also a criticism on um, imf and what happens due to devalu- uh, devaluation free market criticism comes free market crit- criticism is that imf ad- advocates devaluation uh, and it is criticized by the free market proponents that it is basically uh, intervening in the free market system and it is not allowed in the free market system lack of transparency and involvement so the countries that are seeking assistance are not involved in the policy making and they are just asked to follow the policies rather than being involved and able to create their own policies serves as a tool for wealthy countries so it is being crit- criticized uh, so imf is being criticized as being a, used as a tool for wealthy countries to pressurize the periphery states or the states that are on the lower rung of the world economy to work according to their own agenda there's also criticism on imf so what can be the required reforms for imf so the structural adjustment programs must be thought through, through according to the current dynamics of the assistance seeking country so it can be properly designed for that particular state so that they can help them achieve a long term stability reform policies should be consulted with the state as well they should be consulted with the state to make it work in a proper way autonomy of the imf financial aid should be separated from the politics of the global arena that we discussed in the previous slide so that was all thank you very much allah hafiz